most small businesses find it challenging to sell their professional services. This is often because small business owners don't know how to properly market themselves and their skills. This video blog will unearth three secrets to selling your professional services like a pro. Stay tuned. When selling your professional services, it's important to remember that you are your best asset. Many small business owners find it difficult to market themselves and their skills, but if you focus on your strengths and highlight your unique selling points, you'll be able to sell yourself and your services easily. You should also be prepared to answer common questions about your services and be clear on your terms and pricing. Knowing your worth and standing for it with potential clients is key to getting the right clients. Stay tuned for more tips on how to sell your professional services like a pro. Before we get to the details, let me introduce myself. I'm Doug Barra, and I am committed to the success of small local businesses like yours. I have over 16 years of experience working with small businesses and over 25 years of being a small business owner. So I understand the challenges you face when selling your professional services. I'm here to give you some tips to overcome those challenges and find success in selling your professional services. Now, let's get started. When selling your professional services, many small business owners find themselves at a disadvantage. They don't know how to market themselves and their skills properly, which puts them at a disadvantage when competing with larger businesses. Focusing on your strengths and highlighting your unique selling points is the key to success when selling professional services. What sets you apart from the competition? What are your unique selling points? What can you offer that others can't? When you know what makes you unique, it will be easier for you to sell your services to potential clients. And remember, focus on your strengths. Don't try to be everything to everyone. Instead, focus on where you excel and ensure potential clients know your strengths. This will make it more likely that they'll choose you when they're looking for someone to provide the services you offer. When selling your professional services, you should be prepared to answer common questions about your services. What are your rates? What is your scope of your services? What are your terms and conditions? What do you have testimonials? Are you willing to have prospects speak with clients? Also, be prepared to answer any common questions past clients have had about how and when your services are delivered. Answering these questions clearly and concisely will help potential clients understand what you're offering and then they are more likely to use your services. Remember, you're good at what you do. I know because you wouldn't be in business doing it if you weren't. But do you feel like you're able to charge what you really think you're worth? It can be hard to charge what you're worth when you don't feel confident in your skills or your ability to sell yourself. When it comes time to talk rates with potential clients, stay firm on your prices. Don't let them talk you down or try to get a better deal. If they really want your services, they'll be willing to pay your price. Discounting your service says, I'm not worth what I'm charging. Is that really what you want your clients to believe? And remember, always have a contract outlining the terms of the agreement between both parties. This will help protect you and ensure that both parties know what to expect from each other. To recap, selling your professional services can be difficult, but it's important to remember that you are your own best asset. When you're selling your professional services, be sure to focus on your strengths and highlight your unique selling points. You should also be prepared to answer common questions about your services and be clear on your terms and pricing. Standing up for what you're worth is key to getting the right clients. Finally, always have a contract that outlines the terms of the agreement between both parties. This will help protect you and ensure that both parties know what to expect from each other. If you have any tips on how you sell your professional services, or if you have any questions about selling your services, please leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Let's all work together to raise the bar for everyone. 
Would you like to learn more about selling your professional services or other topics regarding business success? Yes? Great, then there are a few things that you need to do right now. First, like this video so that I know you got value and I'll make more videos like this one. Second, subscribe to this channel and click the bell to get notified whenever we post a new video so that you don't miss a single piece of the valuable information we share. And last, click the link in the description to register for the next live web class we hold on Thursdays and unearth the secrets to scaling your business. This is a tremendous opportunity to go even deeper into these ideas. You can also register by going to www.businesssuccess.group forward slash scaling live. That's www.businesssuccess.group forward slash scaling live. I'm Doug Barra and I'm passionate about small businesses succeeding. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in our next video.